right now, though. Corey Cogdell, Olympic bronze medalist in women's trap, is with us. Corey, how you doing tonight? I'm great. How are you guys? Oh, fantastic. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, my pleasure. Good to be here. Well, listen, you are a, a very busy woman. Uh, I mean, in addition to uh, all of the work that you do on, uh, you know, Cabela's Ultimate Adventures, uh, uh, Outdoor Guide, Safari Hunters Journal, uh, you are obviously uh, still taking part in the uh, Olympic trials. We've got the uh, shotgun trials coming up May 17th through the 20th in Tucson. That's right. Yeah, it's a very exciting time for all of us shotgun shooters. You know, it's uh, amazing that we're uh, here at the Olympic trials again. Uh, the last four years has definitely uh, gone by so fast, and I'm definitely really excited uh, for the next coming weeks of training and then the final Olympic trials. Absolutely. Now, uh, you are in second place right now going into these trials, right? That's right. Okay, so it's 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 any woman's game here. It is. You know, it's... Um, uh, you know, you really can't tell too much uh, after the first trials as long as you set yourself up in a good position. Um, in 2008, I came, uh, I was eight targets back going into the final trials and then ended up winning by 12 targets. So I made up a difference of about 25 targets uh, throughout the course of the match. So, you know, it, it's definitely anyone's game at this point. Uh, I feel very confident. Uh, I have a lot of experience now over the last four years, and, and I feel really prepared. So I'm excited. Yeah, and and you know this is uh, for folks who haven't been paying attention yet. I know that uh, you know a lot of times we uh, we wait until the Olympics get a little bit closer to start paying attention, but there's really some drama here because uh, we're only sending one female to London to compete in women's trap. So it's not like the first two are going to go, right? That's right. You know, unfortunately, in our sport, we only get one spot. Uh, we get a spot for women's trap and a spot for women's skeet. So. Um, you know, um, unlike most uh, Olympic sports, we do not send a team. So it is, um, you know, the number one woman. You've got to be number one on the right day. Otherwise, you're not going to the Olympics. <laughs> what kind of pressure does that put on you, Corey? I mean, I, I can't even imagine knowing that, you know, you, you, if you don't give it your all right then and there, uh, you know, that's your one shot. Yeah, you know, there is a lot of pressure for sure. Um, you know, you just really have to go into it. Um, knowing that you're going to give 110% and leave nothing on the table. And, you know, whatever happens, you can't control how the other people shoot. All you can do is control how you shoot. So, you know, you have to go into it just realizing that, you know, you have trained for the last four years for this moment. And, you know, I definitely am prepared. I've been training for this, you know, not just the last couple months, but the last four years. So, um, you know, it, there is a lot of pressure, but you know, a lot of excitement as well. Absolutely. Now, I, I, if you don't mind me asking, Corey, I know that you're dating uh, a, a member of the Denver Broncos. Off season for your boyfriend, but obviously right now, you know, gearing up for a very busy time for you. How, how's that working out? You know, it's it's actually good. Um, you know, he's just getting into, um, you know, his, his workouts and everything. But, you know, one of the great things about uh, dating a professional athlete is they understand your schedule and what it takes out of you. So, he is definitely um, a huge person in my su support system and, uh, you know, is, is 100% behind me. And um, he's he's making the effort that I made during his season, you know, to uh, support support each other and uh, to get to games and uh, get to shoots and all that good stuff. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so, so Corey, uh, you know, the, the, the next dates that people should be aware of right now, again, May 17th through the 20th? That's right, yep, May 17th through the 20th. Um, trap, double trap, and skeet will all be held during those dates. And on May 20th, we will have our new Olympic team. All right. Well, listen, Corey, thank you so much for coming on the program tonight. Best of luck to you, and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Well, thank you, guys, and thanks for all your support.